but there's some debug in here. Uh, I don't want this going live with debug on every single line item, right? That looks bad. That's embarrassing. Probably shouldn't do that. So let's start by uh, stepping through our code to figure out where that's happening. So I've opened up NetBeans here. Uh, I've got a copy of my code downloaded on my site, uh, but I've also configured my project in NetBeans. Are, how many people are familiar with NetBeans? About half the people in the room, I guess. All right. Uh, NetBeans is a, is a great um, uh, free IDE. Uh, I'm not sure if it's based on Eclipse or not. Maybe somebody can speak authoritatively. It's not. Okay. It's, it's from Sun. It's, yet, it's from Sun. Okay. I think so. Yet another Java IDE that is uh, uh, better than the last. I would say I used to use uh, uh, Zen Studio uh, Five for I used it for several years, and this finally convinced me to move on. But. Um, so my project here is uh, configured to uh, debug on the VM that I have running within this Mac. Um, it calls that host name whenever I tell it to run debug, and it puts a whole bunch of arguments on the query string, uh, similar items that I searched for earlier today. So when I hit, uh, I'm on, I want to debug index.php, the file that actually served up this filtered RSS feed. Uh, when I want to debug that page, I simply go to uh, debug and debug file. One of the tricky things about uh, NetBeans that you'll find if you're trying to do this at home, if, you're, if you've clicked over in this left pane over here and you go to debug, uh, that's a bad example, um, a debug file is not always available depending on what context you've clicked in. Um, so make sure you've clicked onto a file over here on the left or in the file on the right. So we're going to start debugging the file. What it does is uh, sends my browser out uh, a request to that web page with all the query string events I have on it. The magic here is that it puts uh, this extra argument on the query string. Xdebug session start uh, triggers to the Xdebug module within PHP that what we want to do is send out a request back to my IDE and have my IDE step through the code one line at a time. Pretty cool stuff. So now the code ex the web page execution is actually stopped on line two right here. Uh, have you guys used or have many of you used uh, debuggers for uh, C and other languages in the past? A lot of folks that come to PHP have used uh, the old good old Borland C compiler, Visual Basic, or any of that stuff. Turbo C. Turbo C. It works. It works a lot the same way. Um, you have several options here. You can step over meaning I want to execute that require once without drilling down into it. You can step into, which means I want to execute that, but drop me into the first line of that file once you've loaded it. You can step out, which means I want to jump out of the current context, whether that's uh, a method, function, uh, or file. Uh, and then you can jump to cursor. So let's jump to cursor here because we can be mashing. The, what you'll normally end up doing is hitting step over to move directly through the file you're looking at. And we can be mashing the button quite a bit to get to where we want to be. So I know that uh, this file right here doesn't have, uh, I'm going to maximize this code view. Uh, this file has a lot of interesting stuff going on at the top, but none of it's probably inserting that debug. Um, we're loading our caching engine. There's no cache engine installed in this particular server, so we're saying cache none. Uh, we're grabbing the input. A lot of stuff there. We don't really care about that, so we're going to jump down to the cursor on line 36, or the first executable line thereafter. And uh, apparently I moved too slow and it went without me. I'm just going to use F8 to move through here so we can actually watch as it goes. So it's getting the variable off the query string. That's that's fine and good. We're, um, well, if you look at the strategy we've employed here, uh, the first argument on the query string is the URL that we want to capture. Every argument after that, uh, it's not key value pair, it's just a series of keys. Um, the keys are the values that we want to search for. So this key is iPhone, plasma, clothes, etc. Uh, so we're just shifting the first one for there. Uh, that's probably not going to do it. 
filtering data. Mm. Here we are deconstructing the feed and breaking it down into individual uh, uh, RSS entry elements. Um, no, this is, oh, we don't know what this is, but we want to step out of it. And what I'm actually going to do here is add a breakpoint and run to there. Okay. We continue to step through the file here, and well, there it is. Okay. So moving line by line through our file, I found this debug output here uh, that we want to be able to get rid of. So by deleting that and telling uh, the, the uh, IDE to finish executing, um, we have output that, if it were to go for me, now has no more debug. If I can get rid of that colon, now has no more debug. Okay? So that's uh, debugging in a nutshell. It's a, it's a very few simple principles that uh, allow you to do really powerful things. And of course, this, this code is very linear, very um, not object oriented, <laughs> but uh, it, it's a good example that allows you to step down from top to bottom. And at this point, you've got a rough overview of what the code does. So.